What do you think? It don't, it don't have no horn on it? Beep, beep. Woo! Sold. Sold? <laughs> hey, Hunter. What's going on, everybody? Mark Miller, Winsco Land Clear. Uh, so as you saw a second ago, and now you can hear it probably, we've got a, uh, let's see, I think it's a 2014 D8T. Uh, I'd like to say I'm demoing it, but I'm paying to demo it. I'm actually renting it for about a week. Uh, in case you're curious what it costs to rent a D8T like that, uh, it was about almost $8,000 for one week. Apparently it's about 20 for a month. Um, but it's a nice tractor. Uh, it's uh, 14, it's, I think it's only got about 3,000 hours. I'm not sure exactly what the horsepower is on it. Um, I know it's more than our D8, uh, D8N. Um, I want to say it's probably like 350, maybe 400 horsepower, but it is a, it's a beautiful machine. Um, probably cost about 600,000 used. But anyway, so we're out here running that today out here in Lyman and uh, got a new guy in training here on the D6 with a KG blade. And um, I'm in my environment. It's a beautiful place to be. So. Without further ado, let's look at this uh, D8T, and uh, we got Cliff in there, and I can see his smile through the cab, 100 feet away. He's excited to run this machine. I'm excited to watch it. It just cost me a lot, but let's see what it does. I'm just kidding. That's the D6 model. Anyway, the D8's over here. Let's see if I can get through this uh, brush here. Yes, rip that stump out of the ground. Get it, girlfriend. Oh, I know he's excited right now. Look at that big old ripper. I told him, I said, I want to see you drop that thing in a stump and bust a stump with it. And it will, too. Those things will do the job. So it's not typical for us to use like a semi-U blade on a dozer for clearing, but that's how that machine came. Um, I really thought about taking our C-frame and KG blade off our A and putting it on there, but um, would it fit? I believe so. I think it's the same width and all. I don't think it'd be an issue, but like time frame and stuff, it's just like, let's just let it happen. So that thing there um, has like a couple tilt cylinders on it too. And uh, I'd have to go get caps for the hydraulic lines and all that mess. And I'm just like, let's just run it. <laughs> So those blades have uh, little cutting edges on them too, and uh, they will cut a stump. So I mean, that's, that machine's got enough power there to do it. So, but anyway, um, so out here where I'm standing, this is like the other half of the 60 acre job, and uh, we've only got probably maybe 18, 20 acres left to grub up. Like everything here where I'm standing right now, like all this all this has been grubbed up we just got to come through here with a rake you know um and it's really dry uh, everything broke up real nice out here this is actually an older site it, it was logged like i say older site somebody's like what's that mean it was logged like five or six years ago so when i say older all the material out here is pretty dry and brittle so it's actually it comes up pretty easy i mean i got a d6 over there with a kg blade on it ripping through this stuff just as easy so if that little machine could do it, it's pretty soft stuff. So that being said, it rakes out pretty fast too. So the, the dirt's real loose and whatnot. But um, these two machines going wide open, the rest of this like 20 acres, probably, I don't know. I would think less than a week, it'll be grubbed up. 
um, put rakes on. We'll run through with the rakes and then we'll get it ground up. So, but anyway, um, that's what 8,000 bucks a week looks like. So a payment on one would probably be close to that per month, depending on the price you bought it for. I've been looking at buying a D8T. Um, the D8 that we have is the D8N. It's a 95 model open cab. And when I first bought it a year ago, great tractor. I've uh, made, made some money with it. Um, I'm thinking about selling it though and getting a, a newer machine. Um, I've had a little bit of downtime with it and it's been kind of frustrating. It wasn't like major issues we've had um, as of recent. We've had like radiator issues with it. And um, buying a radiator for that thing, actually before I started making this video, I got a, a, a quote in. It was like $12,000 for a complete new radiator, upper and lower tanks, brackets and everything. And uh, I'm like, 12 grand for a radiator. Uh, and this is aftermarket too. Cat can't get it for me. They said it was gonna be like 63 days before they could get me one, a factory radiator. It has eight individual cores and then an upper and a lower tank. And um, I, I don't have a month or two months to wait for a machine to be running, so. But anyway, uh, I've been thinking about getting something newer, you know, in theory to have less downtime, so. Uh, because like this job should have been done already, but we've had downtime with our D8. So thankfully this job here is not a very high pressure job. Like we, it's not like we're not behind schedule or anything cause they haven't even started out here. So that's been a blessing itself, but we did just finish up a job for RCS in Bowling Springs and we knew we had to move on that one. Like you can't play around on those jobs cause when they come in with equipment, like it's unreal so um we had to get that one done that was like 35 acres so we got it done pretty quick but anyway back out here in lyman getting it done and that's where we're at with machines so um maybe i'll video the things moving around a little bit more and then i'm gonna call it a day on the video and i'll make a video about something else tomorrow i don't know but a d8t so if you know anybody looking for a D8 end dozer, I'm gonna have the radiator fixed pretty soon and I'm probably gonna sell it. So um, I don't know how much I'm gonna sell it for, but I'm only gonna sell it with the C-frame. I'm not gonna sell it with the KG blade or the ray because I need those. So um, how many hours are on that thing? It's got 14,800 hours on it. So it's a pretty good machine. Like I said, I've just had a little Few little issues with it that are kind of that's kind of been annoying to fix not really expensive but um i'm just looking to upgrade get something newer that's all something to close cab too so they could be in the ac it's really dusty out here too which makes it very tough to operate these machines all day when it's hot and dusty like this too so but anyway let's watch this d8 tonight.